Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. Uh, we promised you guys uh, a little bit of a, uh, sort of a, a review of Morton's uh, small glider. Uh, this is actually a very cheap model and stuck it flew quite badly. Yeah, I, I haven't been using it very much because I didn't think it flew very well, so... No. Oh, yeah, it's been sitting in the basement most of the time. But uh, some f unfortunate small incident, and I changed the motor and prop, and now I think it flies really great. It definitely has more speed. Yeah. And we have a big problem here in Finnmark uh, during this uh, period of uh, the year. Yeah. And that is darkness. So. Um, we have to install lights on our yeah. planes. Yeah, um, yeah. Right. It's nice to see where you are in the air when you are flying. Yeah. And also, it's nice uh, heading towards Christmas. So <laughs> Christmas uh, plane. Yeah, I have lights, but it's not Christmas lights. It's white lights. And you have, you have all, uh, also set it up with a GPS, uh, a camera. A long range receiver. Yeah, I was going to just start using it a little bit. So uh, you said we have to mount some lights, do some Christmas flying. Okay, I mounted some lights. Uh, I like technology, so I put <laughs> in a flight controller, an Omnibus F4, and I installed Arduplane on it. And of course, I have to have GPS. And then, of course, I have to have tele telemetry, and so it's uh, it's not beautiful, but it's uh, it's functional. And I three D printed this uh, sort of uh, yeah, hatch, hatch, yeah, hatch pod. It used to be a cockpit there, but I printed a, a holder for the camera. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit excited to use this. I've never flown with this camera before. It's, uh, uh, I think it's a bit interesting because it has only 90 degree field of view. Yeah. So uh, you don't get this fish eye effect. Sen yeah. yeah. So it was mainly, I buy this camera mainly for use on this uh, big talon. Okay. Uh, because I think of flying higher, get a more. Uh, yeah, get a nicer view yeah. with a little bit smaller uh, field of view. So, but this plane is uh, now quite fast and it's also very uh, agile on uh, the movements. Yeah. So we can use it also as a chase plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. And uh, it also glides very nicely. It has slow flying capabilities. Uh, just put flapper on on so I'm. Yeah. It's nice to, to check out that. And we also tested last time we were at the airfield, we mm. were testing um, uh, uh, the stall yeah. uh, tendency of it, and we couldn't uh, make it to, uh, to stall. No, and I think mainly because I put the CG a good bit in front. Okay. So it doesn't stall, it just tips forward and gaining speed again. Yeah. So if I just do that, if I don't push the battery too, too far back, I think we'll get a very safe play. Okay. But again, I don't know where how this, uh, if I try to fly with, with full flaps, maybe the speed will go so far down that it tips off, but yeah. uh, it has to be checked out. We need to test that. Okay. Uh, that's actually a little bit dangerous situation with these flight controllers because they r recovers very badly from stalls. Yeah. I need to be quick and flip it in manual and get the speed up. And uh, it's... the biggest problem is that making your brain function yeah. that fast. And uh, I think that's my biggest problem because when something like that happens, I always try to correct it with the radio but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I always do it the wrong way yeah. 
Uh, for some, it's the funny way because it um, results in a crash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, but, uh, yeah. It takes some time to to get the head around and think what to do. Yeah. Because uh, if you're flying and never experience things like that, and the first time you just completely black out. Uh, you have done some modification on this plane. Uh, you have cut a piece of yeah. the tail. Uh, yeah. We're going to show you a uh, yeah. closer look later. But you have cut a piece of the tail because of the you needed to use a larger prop. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to use a six inch prop. And I had a six inch kind of uh, speed prop, six, six, six. Yes. But it was very, very bad efficiency. So I put a multi rotor seven uh, times 45 and it works perfectly. Yeah. Very low amperage, so a nice speed. And a little tip. Um, this black spot is just some pieces of electrical tape. That's a very nice, uh, nice way of balancing this props on. Yeah. It's a little battery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off for a while. Yeah. So when I was gonna go in fail safe. Um, so what what I do to balance props? I have this uh, flight controller. It registers uh, vibration. Mm -hmm. I just put the computer on. I'm running. Uh, that's too much noise. <laughs> I'm just run the um, the uh, stock up the motor, check the vibrations, then I put some small tape on, very small pieces, and try more. Yeah. Change places, and that's a very good way because uh, it may feel the same, but you can see the numbers a little less vibrations. So. Yeah. And um, you have been nagging on me for this. You remember uh, the Dusty? Yeah. We put some uh, Master Airscreen 3 blade propeller on that mm -hmm. one. And we had some serious vibration. And also these, um, yeah. these Dubro yeah. spinners that uh, we bought for the Dusty. Uh, I had uh, three of them. And sorry to say that no one of them was balanced and we had some very bad throw on them. It's a, it's a problem with this. Uh, before I get turned out of battery, we will check the lights. Yeah, um, you have installed lights on the airplane with, uh, with sequence. Yeah, it's just a uh, cheap uh, China switch, yeah. which have first flip, steady lights. Under the wings and on the side of the fuselage. Can hold it. Yep. And then I have the sequence, alternating flashing. It's two two output channels. I don't see uh, the, the big thing about it, but it's anyway. And you have this last sequence of yeah. flashing. I did like the first one best. Um, yeah. This one, yeah, yeah, this one. yeah. yeah it's, the, it's the best. And of course, it will give you uh, good visibility. Yeah. Yeah. And I also like the white lights because I have the yellow lights on mm. mine, so they are a bit warm. Mm. And I feel like they are disappearing in the plane. But, but these yeah. are, uh, these are, uh, this are, I think it's neutral white. Yeah. The color. It's not cold white. It's neutral. It's very nice. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we can uh, unhook the battery and we can take some closer looks yeah. on the modifications. Uh, of course, we have this camera. It's a Firefly uh, 8S. It's uh, supposed to be a very good camera, uh, uh, good 4K capabilities and and so on, a 90 degree angle. We have the receiver. This is uh, Aftersky uh, R9. Mini, I think I, they don't have micro. It's mini, mini or slim, but this is a mini. Um, uh, single antenna. Now uh, many of these radios comes with uh, dual antennas, uh, but uh, on a plane like this, I don't see the big need. If you mount the antennas vertically, it's 
usually fine. Um, for someone, see I put this one end of the antenna into a tubing. It usually changed the frequency a bit, but uh, for my testing, uh, it's most uh, critical on the active element. So I don't think that has too much to, to say. So, <clears throat> of course a buzzer, just to annoy hear the beeping and this is a omnibus f4 pro clone board it's a very nice board to put uh, arduplane on because you have you have the um, this uh, this current voltage and current sensor you have an osd internally on the board so you can have osd you don't need any extras so it's a it's a very I like this board very good. It has many capabilities for FPV flying. Easy to connect uh, GPS, telemetry, OSD, uh, current voltage sensor. So you have most of the things you need. Um, maybe a little not not too many input output ports. Uh, so. Um, course if you use a more expensive board like uh, Martech F405 wing you have a lot of input outputs but this is for a small simple setup this is very good yeah we have a uh, small GPS module uh, snow compass in it don't really need compass on the plane because if not the plane is moving forward something is seriously wrong but your setup so it should always move uh, forward so the, it doesn't need a compass to tell you you're flying forward and this is not very nice but I wanted to have a telemetry radio on uh, homemade antenna uh, it's pretty well tuned have a, a network analyzer so I tune it so it's uh, this is a good all-round type of antenna um, inside it's not much to see this is a 3d printed printed pod the magnets a lot of mess inside have this um, this is the light switch uh, very nice doesn't weigh anything just put it on a a switch so every time it's it's changing from high to no, from low to high it's uh, changing mode and battery this is a 3s 2800 um, uh, milliamp battery it's uh, a nice size for this it gives a little weight but not too much I'm maybe gonna try to put a 6,000 milliamp battery and see how that works. I think it's gonna be fine too. So it uh, actually turns out to be a very nice plane. I don't know why I didn't use it much before, but uh, but I had a little problem with a little efficient uh, propeller. It was a little bit more difficult to throw it because it had much less uh, punch. So now it's very easy. 60-70% uh, throttle and just a little toss and it's flying. So it uh, actually turns out to be a quite nice play. Has some, uh, some battle damage but it's to be expected. And uh, for the propeller, since it's, this is a 7 inch, I had to cut away a big chunk of the fuselage. And it, getting very flimsy so I just printed a small small plate and just glue it uh, in place and it got the stability pretty much back and uh, I took out the servos and put the servos also in the back of the plane because with uh, the camera and battery it was getting very nose heavy so I tried to put the servos back had a little bit impact but not much so but uh, when I took out put the servos in the back I have the 
the area to put the battery much more in the back of the uh, compartment so it turns out it's uh, now it's very nice uh, what's the name of this uh, model do you remember that this is a hawk sky uh, v2 uh, bought from hobby king okay sometime maybe four or five years old i think so yeah it's um, pretty much a copy i think of the bixler v2 okay so uh yeah i mean nice i am looking forward to try it yeah i'm looking Some forward to someday because now we have other shitty weather uh the last uh, weeks we have had wind up to 29 meters per second tonight it was uh, 21 yeah. Uh, today it's 18. Yeah. So it's... Uh, I don't know how many knots, but uh, 29 meters is about now between 19 and 90 and 100 kilometers per yeah. hour. So we have, a, it's, we have enough... We have got the air changed. It's not... We, uh, me and Anna went up to the airfield uh, yesterday to clean up a little bit because uh, the table and the chairs and everything has been moving around. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we are uh, officially now without a uh, wind socket. Okay. It, it, it has blown away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but Anna will make a new one. Uh, she's really good at that. Um, yeah. Thank you for uh, the small uh, review yeah. button. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to the remaiden. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, and, it's, uh, it's nice. I want to. I have a pretty small plane with with uh, lights on. That's but that's only a very nice weather plane. It's very <laughs> light. We tossed around in the wind. So, but uh, I'm looking forward to try this one. It's semi dark. Uh, we are getting, uh, uh, if they are opening the mountains, because the mountains are closed now <laughs> due to storm and snow. But if they open today, we will have two packages today. Uh, one is uh, one meter wing, uh, speed wing. Mm -hmm. From uh, Actually, I thought they were only making shitty toy drones, but ES, ESGene. Yes. Uh, Ishin, yeah. 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 They have uh, made yeah. this wing and our goal with this wing is not FPV, but it's to make it go shit fast. Yeah. So it's no setup in it. We have to install motor and everything. No, uh, everything is, uh, it's like a PMP. Okay. But uh, I think we need to change the motor uh, yeah. anyway, because we want to have uh, more speed yeah. on it. And the other package, do you know what that is? I heard it's something with a big rotor on top. Yes. <laughs> uh, the T Rex 800E uh, DFC uh, uh, Pro, I think. Mm. Uh, it was, yes. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment section. I will try to, to answer. Morten has done a great job uh, commenting uh, on uh, questions uh, on the previous videos that he has been participating in with his models. So uh, yeah, feel free to ask and uh, I'm, go I'm going to push him and send him text messages yeah. <laughs> all the time. You have to answer this yeah. comment. Ask um, if you have some comments and uh, uh, suggestions also like to have uh, to have some suggestions for the setup I'm not an expert far from it so uh, if someone has uh, commenting something I'm not doing perfect just give me a word cool so <coughs> that's all for today have a great day and we'll see you on the next video yeah. bye bye